The location is England. The time period is 1978. In this story our anti-hero, Gary, is on the run from the American gangsters he has been mixing with. They are vengeance-seeking killers, and so Gary is looking for somewhere to hide, somewhere well out of the way, somewhere where no one knows him from Adam. Last Resort Gary was keeping quiet, in the shadows. He leaps out and sorts the gunman out, knocking him to the ground, with one punch. Gary then runs off, to catch his flight across the pond. Bannon sits at his desk. He's handed a picture of Gary. I want him. I want him found. I want him dead. He then looks up and puts on an icy grin. Gary arrives in his small saloon car. Carrying a couple of carrier bags, he walks down the steep bank to the remote house by the water. Gary has a quick scan of the horizon. He then takes the keys from his pocket, opens the door, and enters the cottage. As he walks in, he carefully looks around, assessing his bolt hole. He thinks he sees a tripwire, and so avoids it, and looks out of the window to check if anyone is about outside. There is a small boat moored there. This could be a threat. He walks past the drinks tray, and puts his pistol under the pillows of the bed, out of sight. He then takes his paper shopping bags into the kitchen. He begins to fill a tall, steel kettle with water, to put on the stove. And then he hears a double rap on the outside door. The double knock, is impatiently followed by a triple rap. Gary spins around from the cooker, runs through the kitchen, into the main room, and grabs his handgun from under the pillow. After a few cautious moves about the cottage, he positions himself at the front door, with his gun inside his jacket pocket. Yeah? Dylan. Answers a male voice. Gary slides the bolt at the top of the door, and opens it. Ah, there you are. I said I bring them round, and here they are. Dylan is carrying two wooden fishing twine holders, wound up with lengths of line. I said I'd drop by with them. Sure. Replies Gary, in a cultured American accent, as he remains at the front door, checking around outside for any other possible threats. He then adopts a more relaxed composure now that he has assessed the threat level is back to normal for the time being. I was just making some coffee, but maybe you'd rather have a drink? Ah, uh, now you're getting to know me. Replies.